Hello everyone, it's me Nessie again and today's video is another one in partnership with the Korean Tourism Organization. You guys know that I did previously do a cafe hopping guide to Seoul and since then a lot of you guys have been asking for a shopping guide to Seoul. Now I have been gathering experience over the past year or so and now I feel like I'm finally ready to share with you guys the best shopping hotspots here in Seoul. So today's video we're going to be splitting into two parts. So the first one is going to be an introduction to the different shopping areas in Seoul and the second part is going to be my recommendation for specific stores that you can go to if you're searching for items such as k-pop merchandise snacks souvenirs gifts etc that you can bring home now this video I was originally going to do vlog style but because there's so much content I thought that it would be much easier if I just sat down here in front of the camera and put to the videos here behind me. Because I don't want to make this video too long, I'm going to be putting additional information in the description box down below. So information such as which subway stations to get off at, which exits to leave out of, that will all be in the description box down below. But uh, without further ado, let's get started with this video. So we are going to be kicking this video off with my personal favorite place to shop, and that is Hongdae. I'm sure that you guys have heard that name many, many times in my vlogs, and that's because it is just such a fun place to be. Hongdae is a place for trendy fashion and even though a lot of people might recommend other places to shop, I personally feel like Hongdae is just where I can find basically anything that I want. Now there are two particular streets that I want to recommend to you guys. So the first place of course is the main street which is Hongdae Fashion Street. This is the cheaper of the two streets that I'm going to be recommending and this is a place with a very healthy mix of both tourists and locals and it sells very on-trend fashion. It sells a lot of the stuff that you would see K-pop idols wearing but cheaper versions of course and if you're shopping at the smaller stores lining the street the prices will generally range from 10,000 to 20,000 won. Now this other street that I want to recommend to you guys is more hidden than the main tourist street. I'm not sure what exactly it's called but I will leave it in the description box down below once I find it. This place is more hidden than the main tourist area but it has the most beautiful clothes there. The prices are generally higher than the main tourist area but you will be getting people pieces in more classic, elegant designs and better quality too. I would say that the prices generally range from 30,000 to 40,000 won but you can get a discount if you pay with cash. The people walking on this street are also generally dressed better so you can get a lot of outfit inspiration walking along the street. It is my personal favorite place to shop and I'm sure that a lot of you guys would enjoy shopping here too. Next up we have Express Bus Terminal. This is an underground shopping mall and it is a great place to do very cheap shopping. This place does have a mix of everything and you will find a lot of locals shopping here along with the tourists. You will find a lot of local elderly people shopping here as well because the prices here are so cheap. They have a huge mix of stores that cater to both the younger and older population and prices can go as low as 5,000 won. So it is a very cheap place to shop. Make sure you bring comfort comfortable walking shoes though because the mall does not end and you will be walking around for a very long time. <laughs> Now the next place we're going to be talking about is Shinsa Garosukyo. This is a more upscale area of Seoul so you'll be finding a lot of the major brands flagship stores here that includes both beauty and fashion and of course both international and local brands. This is also one of my favorite places to shop because the streets are so beautiful, everyone is dressed so well. This place is where the more fashionable crowd goes to shop and you will be able to spot a lot of models and occasionally idols walking along the streets. Alright, the next place that we're going to be talking about is for the thrifters and the vintage shoppers. This place is called Tongmyo and it's known for its vintage flea market. Now you will find a lot of older people shopping here as well because the prices here are just so cheap. It can go down to 2,000 won for a shirt. So it is definitely somewhere where you can snag a bargain but you will have to do some hunting around. Now the stores here vary. Some of them are just piles of clothes on the ground and you will have to do some digging but you definitely can find treasures in those piles. There are also actual stores there where they specialize in collecting designer vintage fashion. So depending on what you're searching for, prices can range from 2001 for a shirt to 100,000 or higher for designer pieces. Interestingly, I have noted that there were a lot more guys shopping in Dongmyo than girls and I did ask one of my male friends and he said it is because the prices there are so cheap and they all go there to snag bargains. So if you guys are interested in thrift shopping and vintage shopping, then do make sure to check out Dongmyo. 
Next up, we have Ihua Women's University. Now, this is somewhere that I personally would not recommend that much, but I'm just including it because it does come up very often if you search up best places to shop in Seoul. The shopping street here has cheap to average prices, roughly on par with the prices that you would find in the main fashion street in Hongdae. It does have cute pieces, but nothing that you wouldn't be able to find anywhere else. So I would personally only recommend it if you were passing by or on your way back from sightseeing at Ihua Women's University. Next up on the list is somewhere that you would immediately think of if someone mentions Seoul and that is Gangnam. Now a lot of the major brands do have their big stores in Gangnam but the majority of those brands you can find in Karosuke and I personally think that Karosuke has a much more pleasant shopping experience. Not that the Gangnam shopping experience is bad. So if you were looking to do that kind of shopping I would recommend you to go to Karosuke instead. What I would recommend you to visit in Gangnam is Gangnam Underground. It is another shopping mall in Inside Gangnam Station and is basically a smaller version of Express Bus Terminal. Prices here generally range from 10,000 to 15,000 won. It's a much less overwhelming experience compared to Express Bus Terminal, so I do visit Gangnam Underground very often. Now, the final area that I want to recommend is Myeongdong. This is a very touristy area, so touristy in fact that locals generally don't visit Myeongdong very often. But because it's so touristy, all of the brands have gathered in this one area. So you can find all of the major beauty brands here, all of the major fashion brands, as well as huge outlets for Korean snacks, souvenirs, and K-pop merchandise that you can take home. The staff in the stores generally speak a variety of languages. Of course, English and Chinese will be the most prevalent, but I've also heard them speak Thai, Japanese, etc. So it is a very foreigner friendly place. For Myeongdong, I would recommend you to visit later in the afternoon to early evening because that's when the streets are bustling with people all of the street food stores have set up and it is a very very fun place to be <laughs> Alright guys, now this brings part one of this shopping guide to a wrap. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful. I will put extra information in the description box down below. Make sure to keep your eyes out for part two because I will be recommending specific stores for you guys to shop at if you are looking for particular items such as clothing, skincare, makeup, paper merchandise, contact lenses, glasses, etc. Again, this video was in partnership with the Korean Tourism Organization, so I will have all of their links in the description box down below as well as extra details on all of the places that I mentioned in this video. All right, I'm going to wrap this video up now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Annyeong! <laughs>